To draw or paint, we need a surface on which to do it. Depending on the kind of medium, the surface changes. Basically, it can be divided into three categories, canvas, paper and others. For this course, we will be using paper, so canvas and others are out of the scope of this course. Paper is a thin sheet of material produced from cellulose fibers, which are got from wood, rags, cotton, etc. Paper comes in different sizes, weights, materials, textures, colors, and sizing. Depending on where you are in the world, paper comes in imperial sheets that are A1 to A6 or measured in inches. Common sizes are 24 by 18 inches, 17 by 14 inches, 14 by 11 inches, 9 by 12 inches, 10 by 8 inches, etc. Paper weight denotes its thickness. There are two ways that paper weight is measured and stated. The United States measures paper weight in pounds, whereas it is standard to measure in grams per square meter or GSM outside the US. Paper can be made of wood pulp, rags, cotton or a combination of them. The term archival in terms of paper means that it is resistant to deterioration over a period of time in quality. Archival is different from acid-free paper. Paper texture is also known as tooth, simply described as smooth, medium and rough. Watercolor paper comes in cold press which is a rough surface, hot press which is a smooth surface and rough which is an extremely rough surface. Papers come in different colors, black, grey, tan, blue and white and in all the shades of it. The approach to drawing changes when drawing on toned paper. The paper becomes your mid-tone and you draw in the lights and darks. When drawing on black paper, it's the opposite of drawing on white paper. Here you draw the lights and mid-tones and the paper becomes the darks. Paper, usually watercolor paper, is sized in a process to reduce the paper's absorption of liquid when dry. There is internal and external sizing. Your assignment will be for you to try different surfaces. I would start small with paper. In paper, I would start with printer paper or photocopy paper and work my way up to cartridge paper and so on. Working up in terms of price of the paper. Trying different papers will help you in the long run. Let me clarify. For this course, you don't need any fancy paper or drawing materials. We will cover this later in the materials required video. The videos in the beginning of the course are to give you information and not a list of materials. If you have got any value from this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more.